Hey everybody, what's up? It is your pal Keith, here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England, and today we've got some killer, uh, really killer stuff to share with you. First and foremost, all the subscribers, we're over 2,100 of you, thank you so much for the support. For all the new peeps, click like, click subscribe, it's totally free, and you will get to see so many cool guitars just like this one up close and in person each and every day that i find from all over the world cool so let's chat about this this guys is a very rare very special dean guitar this is one of the coolest guitars you're ever gonna see on my youtube channel and that's because there's only a handful of them ever built they're uh, not a production model at all. You're very, very unlikely to even know what this is. I'd be shocked if any of the people on the channel have ever seen one of these, ever heard of it. It is a Dean 1992-1993 Custom Shop ML, USA Custom Shop, built by Paul Chandler of Chandler Guitars out in California. And the whole idea of this thing is that Dean wanted to reinvigorate the brand, had been sold off to uh, Samick, I believe it was, and they wanted to re-identify with the American heritage and true identity of, of the brand. So, they didn't have a USA custom shop, therefore they had to find one, and they uh, sought out Peter, and that man built a handful of these. Uh, from what I can find, I think it's his brother, Adrian, commented that uh, they built less than 20 guitars in total. The first one was a replica of the Dimebag Daryl, Dimebag, uh, Dime from Hell ML, that that was made and then given to him. And then there was a few of these in blue and red that were made. And there were a few Cadillac Elite models. And all of those totaled less than 20. This was sold brand new at the British Music Fair in 1996. Which leads me to believe that this probably stayed with the U.S. headquarters uh, of Dean for some sort of maybe marketing or pr promotional thing. Uh, the top is massive on it. So just to let you guys know what you're dealing with here, let me just get my hands settled. So, see this black line right here? From there to there, that's what a normal ML full thickness would be. So, this isn't just like a carved maple top ML. This is like an ML that had a carved maple top then put on top of it, uh, which is wild. So, it's very, very thick. And you're going to get way more resonance and sustain and just tremendous tone out of this thing than you would get with a normal ml now the spec is is real interesting because i've i've only seen i think two others ever up available for sale in the world and from what i could tell it looks like uh it looks like one had a mahogany neck and one had a maple neck so this one as you can see has a nice flamed maple neck and is a five piece looks like it at least i never know how they count neck pieces if they count at the headstock or down there but it looks like a one two three four five um you've got goto tuners that's the serial number which i can't really make out it looks like it says 3560 maybe all of them uh, if you look at the Google image searches, they all have that kind of stamped impression for the serial number. Uh, and then you can see where the light colored maple body meets the mahogany back. You see the join there. Just a wild guitar, guys. Rosewood fretboard dot inlays, binding... All the way down there. 
This is such a cool piece of Dean history. Very heavy guitar. Um, again, because we're adding another 15% of a guitar, essentially body on top. But it is worth it. I mean, the, the color is just gorgeous. You've got this beautiful 3D quilt top, multi-directional grain going on. And um, it's just hands down the nicest ML I've ever seen in my life. I don't know what happened to it between when it was built and it coming to the UK. Uh, just so you know, that it's had one owner. The guy had locking strap locks and he needed it for his other guitar. So he, uh, he took them off, which is really annoying. But yeah, that's where the other one is. So that's why they're not there. Um... But yeah, you know, it's 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 interesting. It's a really exciting guitar. I'd like to think almost, you know, I don't know what the logistics were of Dimebag going and getting the first one. I don't know if it was sent out to him or if he went to the factory and picked it up or what. But I love the idea of thinking that this was built and stayed with Dean for a few years and that perhaps this is something that he has held in his hands and played himself prior to prior to it going uh, over to the UK as a showcase piece, essentially like Nam, but out here in the early 90s, um, and then being sold to its private owner. How cool would that be? Not sure if we'll ever know. You can just make your assumptions and guesses, but uh, no matter what, what a sexy guitar, guys. This one I'll definitely try and get a video demo done for we'll have some artists coming in soon um but even just the people i've told about it are freaking out it's just nothing like it it is the mac daddy top number one dean ml uh guitarist canone so i'm really proud to have it here at the studio if anybody wants to record with it well that's why we've got these. We've got over 200 guitars here, guys. All top-end, high-end stuff like this. And if you want to buy this bad boy, it is for sale on the website, EssexRecordingStudios.com or on Reverb.com, our good buddies over at Reverb. It's expensive, but it's not the most expensive thing. I'll tell you what, it's cheaper than a, a newer Gibson Custom Shop. And I say, given the history behind this and how rare it is and how special it is, very fairly priced. Cool. I'm going to get going, guys. I've got like 20 seconds left on this thing. If you want to follow us on Facebook or Instagram, please do. It's Essex Recording Studios. And there's a new podcast out, video podcast. Just search uh, Essex Recording Studios interview on YouTube. You'll see it. It's on the Simply Create channel. You get to see little old me as well. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. More guitar videos coming up just after this. Later.